friends. I bet you think we're going to Costco right now. Are we going to Costco right now? We are not. We're actually headed to the mall. We're gonna to go to the Apple store. I love going to the Apple store. We are gonna go get a fun surprise for Chelsea today. She has, and I know this is totally extra, but she has an iPad that she uses and all of our kids do. Some of them are just hand-me-downs from us from when we first they had them years ago. They're all hand-me-downs, but Chelsea's no longer um, can update beyond a certain software status. Can't <laughs> it means, update on anything anymore. Yeah, and so she can't download any app. Like she can't get games, she can't get, and they don't, we're not allowed, they're not allowed to have a ton on their iPads in general and we have to approve every single game anyway. Like she can't even download the YouTube app <laughs> or the Netflix app. She has to like go online and log in that way. But the biggest thing that I want to be able to get an iPad for her that she can add things for is that she is really into drawing. And as she starts doing some digital art um, at school, she's in an art club after school. And then all of her classes next year are all art focused, like all of her electric electives. And they're they're teaching him how to do digital art, and I really want to capture that. She's not taking this to school. No, she's not taking it to school. But I want her to capture this same level of art with markers and pencils and charcoal. I want her to be able to try and do it digitally, and she can't download any app right now in order to, to do that. And like, I want to get one with the ha that has a little pen that where she can write on the screen and draw and do all that kind of stuff. I just want to capture that for her because she's just at this age where she's very curious and very, um, very active talented, and, and very talented, yeah. I mean, there's normal like, oh, my kid drew a cute picture. And then no. there's like, wow, you actually have some talent. Yeah. Well, I'm going to try and find some of her notebooks. Some of them she takes to school and doodles in them as she kind of listens to the teacher, which they're allowed to do. But her portrait drawing is so good. I mean, she loves to draw frogs and mushrooms for some reason. Um, the cute red ones, not like, at a, anyway, whatever. But the her way, portrait drawing is so, so good. The way uh, Kaylee described it is you're the kid that makes everyone else in the art class realize they can't draw. <laughs> yeah, she's that kid. Yeah, they said that. She goes, oh, you're the oh, you're the kid that makes us all feel <laughs> bad about our drawings. So we are going to surprise her with this, and it's just, it's an extra. I'm going to be able to sell the iPad she currently has. I, maybe I'll get 50 bucks for it. It's not a big deal. Um, everyone has had to kind of get an upgrade at some point when the iPads become, unfortunately they just become, you know, what is the word? Uh, Self-obsolescence because they do software that forces you to have to get new yes. hardware. Sucks. As much as we love Apple, that, that's the part that I don't I like. Love, I love the software industry. It's like someone coming to your house and saying, we're going to upgrade your car. But then they grind the tires down so that they don't last as long. And they, <laughs> oh, guess what? You have to buy new tires. Yeah, your fuel efficiency gets worse. But it's an upgrade. Yeah. And then you find. Okay, we're to gonna head to the Apple Store, and maybe we'll glance around the mall. There's like nothing left at our mall anymore. That's like, it's turning into a really, really yuppy store. And yuppy is probably the wrong word, but um, overpriced. Yeah, it's that little bougie. Yeah. Okay. They literally have zero iPads in the store. <laughs> so we have to go home and order it online anyway. We're gonna get the iPad and a pen and a case. It'll be easy to order online. But all of a sudden Jason wants to talk about upgrading my regular computer, my, my uh, Mac that's on my desktop. Um, it runs slow and I need to figure out how to get like the processor with a higher speed. 
Um, I work everything off of an external hard drive, so like I save everything externally, but the actual interior, in, internal processor um, is what I need to have higher speed. So we're just wanting to talk to a technician and see what kind of an upgrade I could get in the next year or so that would be better, more beneficial for what I'm actually doing on the computer um, because, and this was actually the case with me when I worked full time. I ended up having to have two computer screens and two processors because I go too fast. <laughs> I tried to work too fast and it couldn't keep up with me. And even the like the technician at my old job, he was like, oh, you're one of those kind of workers. He sat and watched me for like 20 minutes and he was like, okay, I get you. You work too fast. <laughs> I need, you need a computer that will keep up with you. And so anyway, I just had to have a computer that will keep up with me. You know, kind of like a husband that keeps up with me. So, he's, I think, scheduling an appointment right now. He's over here with the technician. And uh, I think we're just going to try and schedule something and be able to talk to them and figure out what we want. He's watching me. Hang on. Blown away. Absolutely blown away. The lady that we were able to talk to, the lady, she's like half my age. <laughs> um, the technician that we talked to at the Apple store, we waited a long time to get that appointment. We but almost it left. It, it was, was so worth it. worth it. We're literally empty handed. We didn't buy a single thing. But um, we're gonna order the iPad online and have it shipped to us. And it's free shipping because they don't have anything in stock in their store. And then, so <laughs> my computer, I wanted to have it keep up Apple. to me. Ordered through Apple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I needed it to, to have better processing. And uh, as we talked to her, she's like, "Yeah, it, your computer isn't keeping up with you." Um, and so you would need to upgrade. Oh, it's dark. Hang on. Okay. So um, as we talked to her about um, my processing need for what I do on my computer. She's like, yeah, you would probably have to upgrade your whole desktop system in order to have more processing. And it's like 2400 well, it was like $1,800 in order to get a whole new desktop. And I would have trade-in value with the current one I have, but it is older. It's at least five years old, if not more. And so we would have a little bit of trade-in value for that. But then she was like, do you, you said you had a laptop as well. And I said, yeah. And she's like, when did you buy that? I said, we bought that one last year. And she's like, then I need to show you something else. And she well, showed she us. Said, it's because we said we, you only move and do editing when you're. When I'm traveling. Traveling or yeah. away or whatever. So that's why she brought up the laptop. Yeah, and she's like, do you like working on the laptop? Hey, so we know her. Is it Sandy? Yeah. Yeah, that's our neighbor. <laughs> Friend from church. Um, she's probably going to Nordy's. I bet she's turning into, yep, she's going to Nordstrom's. So anyway, she showed us the laptops and the MacBook Pros. I mean, is that what I it was? I don't remember what it was, but it's their latest, greatest little laptop. Super high powerful, like. Like way, way more, more powerful. powerful than the desktop. Like quadruple as powerful as the desktop computer that I would upgrade to. And I'm thinking. For like the same or even slightly it, cheaper. Or r roughly. Roughly a little bit more. A couple hundred bucks up or down either way. To yeah. Play memory thing you yeah do. but my trading value on my laptop is so much higher because it's only a year old and so I'm just thinking it like it totally changed my mindset and I might be trading in my laptop and going to full editing on my on a computer on a laptop versus on my main computer I don't know I have to go through and she said you can go through on the Apple website and add your device add a new device that you want to buy and it'll tell you your trade-in value for your specific um, unit that you actually currently own. Like you type in your own serial number. And so I'm just gonna go home and try and figure that out. We didn't plan on doing that no. and buying that today and we still don't, but. This is why you should never go to the stores. You are being a schmuck right now. <laughs> he loves to do everything in person. I was kind of disappointed that we didn't get the iPad because I was like, I could have just ordered that from home anyway, but 
We got so much information from the lady today. And See, I'm, that's why going to the store is the best. Okay, we're gonna ignore him. I'm hungry and he's hungry and he's getting snippy. No, you get the best information at an actual store. But when you're but at a normal store, people, you end up Apple buying more. is different. You have to admit, Apple is way no, different. I know. It's a specialty store. It's like what we do. I'm joking. It's like if you yes. want quality service, you go to the. Place. I'm not gonna get that kind of information from Target, please. No, and you wouldn't get it from anywhere online or right. anything. No, I'm not. I'm, it was a joke. It's a joke. You learn to be funny. <laughs> Me learn to be funny. Such a douche. I'm not. Douche. I haven't pulled that word out for I a couple the days. Cleanest man ever. I douche so much. <laughs> like, gosh. Okay, and you thought we weren't gonna bring you a Costco haul. <laughs> I don't even have a list, you guys. It's pretty standard what we're getting today, plus we need to look for envelopes for him. Yeah, I need envelopes. I'm gonna get the multi-pack of chapsticks, if they have it, because I'm sick of buying them one at a time for five bucks at Target. What else was an extra for today? S'mores. <laughs> That's normal. That's normal for you. I need to go for a run. Such a good weather today. Yeah. Still a little chilly, but I got to do. Yeah, something. but if we were out walking, it would feel nice. Yeah. All right, let's go see what we can find at Costco. Okay, nothing out of the ordinary today except we added these popcorners. Chelsea absolutely loved these. We got these from her friend because her kids wouldn't eat them, and she loved them. Jason got his s'mores, and we got these as a special gift for a certain someone. So we're not going to say who. And then he got a light for the store. And I think that's all the extra different stuff. Okay, we've been here at home and we have officially ordered that. We're keeping it a secret. And then, you can't even see it. Ordered that little pencil. And then in my shopping cart here on Amazon, I've ordered that little case here. It has a spot for that pencil. Just stick inside the case so she doesn't lose it. And then the case cover itself covers over the front so that that doesn't fall out. So we're gonna wait until we get it before we tell her about it. Also, we learned that my little laptop down there, it's actually pretty hefty. Um, it doesn't have very much of a trade-in value, which is unfortunate. It only has like $400 in trade-in value. So if we were to upgrade my laptop, I would probably just sell that one, just like on Facebook Marketplace or something because it's worth more than $400. <laughs> guaranteed but it actually is I mean I already know it works really really well because we I used it in Hawaii this year and last year twice last year and it does work really really well and now I understand like the whole CPU and processing and that kind of stuff with the computer and understand why it works better than my big huge desktop computer does and so it works great for now so I'm kind of a a meticulously like organized person if you maybe maybe you couldn't tell and so even with like my data storage and files <laughs> I need to have like January through the end of May and maybe even June that's only five months I might even just wait until the end of June in order to say that I have all of that um, data like the saved files from the like my camera files like the video files, as well as the full move, like movies that I create to create these videos. All of that will be like in one set file because I have to create a whole new library and file system in order to work off of my laptop. I always have a separate one when I go to Hawaii. I have to recreate a whole new file system in order to process each of those things. Anyway, it's kind of a whole thing. So I'm going to wait a couple months Gotta wait. and do a little research. But, so... It works really good and so I, I'm not going to upgrade right now. We're going to see if it works good on a daily basis when, in June when I start to use it. That just went in the, did it go in this? No. Oh, okay. All, well, three of the kids are home. Abby, this is your medication? I know. Okay. Um, but I'm going to head out with Jason um, and I'm going to go get my blood work done. I canceled my appointment this morning because um, they canceled the <laughs> order for my, for my blood work. And so I couldn't go to the appointment today. I called the office and I was like, I can't come in. And I couldn't call you Friday. I tried, I couldn't get through. And I couldn't call Saturday, I couldn't call Sunday. And so I just had to cancel and reschedule the appointment. But I'm gonna go get the blood work done now. I think I have an appointment next week. I have my shoes. 
Oh my gosh, she's, you started something with her. Where's my shoes? Anyway, we're gonna go get that and then we forgot to get donuts with when we were out before. Oh gosh, I can't find my shoes. He's having a team meeting tomorrow, so he got fruit at Costco and we need to go get donuts. There's my shoes. Okay, so we're gonna go run back out really quick. We don't have any activities tonight, which is nice. Everyone will just be home and doing their thing, including homework, if anyone has any homework, which they should. Chelsea, do you have homework? No. Are you sure? Huh? Are you sure? Yeah. And we have leftovers, so I don't even need to cook. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me Thank you for waiting. Yeah, yeah. Didn't take too long. Okay, we also went and got donuts, but Krispy Kreme was closed today. Like, gone. Like, closed. Just Not open. Just Not gone. Closed. Not gone. Just closed. So we ended up having to get donuts at Fred Meyer. And they were all out. So we kind of got a couple different choices. <laughs> I think he's going to maybe separate them and just take a few. I don't know. We'll just see. He doesn't need that many. There's only three employees. <laughs> Are you, you're probably going to have one now. Four. Are there four? It's four. Four employees plus you? Plus me. Okay. That's the most we've ever had. At one one kind of yeah. doesn't really show up, but <laughs> <laughs> that's why we have four. <laughs> This one has a sore back still. We're not really sure. Are you sleeping all funky or it's riding the scooter? I don't think it's that. I know because it started before that. Okay. Like, but you, you're going to get pain cream? Yeah. Daddy can put that on. Guys, I'm so tired. But I'm also oh, really washed out. Um, I'm really stressed. Um, I'm kind of having to take the role of mom. In my family and uh, I'm gonna wash my face while we chat with you be a little proactive here because I'm ready to like cuddle up with some real housewives <laughs> and a bowl of popcorn if I'm completely honest with you um, I'm having to like kind of take the lead on oof, planning our family vacation this summer um, when I do my own like a uh, six I do all of that anyway and I don't mind doing that but with my family, we all have all talked about how much we have loved um, doing a trip at the lake, and it's called Bear Lake. It's in Idaho and in Utah. If you look at it on the map, it's like a really long lake and kind of spans down. And we always go in, um, if you have watched our Bear Lake videos, I can link them here. We always play at the beach on the North Shore because that's a really long, spread out beach and it's soft sand and the kids can play there. And we don't have to worry about like deep water and whatnot. It's really warm. For, for the past couple summers, we have rented a place to stay at because your beach day is always so exhausting. And then it's an hour drive back to my dad's house. So we, we've enjoyed having a place to sleep and then we can go shower and get burgers and shakes and ice cream and fries and have a really fun time together as a family. But I'm having to like plan that all and there's eight families in my family and my dad. My brother lives on the other side of the country, but he got approval to work from my dad's house this summer, which is fantastic. Um, but trying to coordinate eight families schedules and two of my sisters are telehealth nurses. And so they have to work online and making sure that the place has Wi-Fi in case they do have to work overnight. Oh, <laughs> And some of these places are fantastic. They have like nine bedrooms and they can sleep 32 people in a bed, but it's like a room can have a queen bed and a queen like over top bunk bed. But but none of our children, and Ashley can attest to this, come oh, where'd you go? <laughs> Just put it on her. Would you sleep in a bed with a bunk bed with me and dad? Or would you sleep in a living room with all the other kids. Well, we did it. 
last time. <laughs> and every time all the kids. Yeah, are. every time. Like we have like a bed, you know, a room that can be like me and all of my kids. And then another room that's, you know, those adults and all of their kids. And none of the kids will sleep in the adult room. <laughs> none of them will. And so then we get these places that have enough beds, but none of the kids will sleep in them. But we have to have enough bedrooms for all the adults to have privacy. Oh, it's just such a mess. It's so hard to coordinate. So I just texted my whole family and I was like, I need to know your max budget. I need to know if you can come this week. This is the only week that it's gonna work. <laughs> Yay or nay. And send me your private amount if per, per night or total if you don't wanna announce it here. <laughs> because I need to know your mouth. It's, it's stressful, but it is worth it. We've done it before and we love it, but only half the family got to come up last year um, and they regretted it. And they said, we loved it when all of us got to do it. And so I'm hoping that they are willing to do that and we can make it happen with most people as possible. Um, but that's what I've been doing for the past hour is like looking on Verbo and going through houses and calculating the cost and oh so stressful but we're gonna round out our night you don't need to hear any more of my stress we had a fun day I have a little surprise for Chelsea but she doesn't know about it the other two do I'm gonna share the secret with them and it was really cute because when we told them what we were doing they were like oh perfect for her and I was so that made my mama heart so happy that they saw the true value in why we're doing it and what in what we're getting because they're like oh she will be able to use that so much I, I, oh she's in her bathroom okay like they recognize her talent as well um let me see if I can find I don't think I'm gonna be able to find her notebooks tonight um and it'll give it away to her but um I'll show you sometime her portraits but it it made my heart happy that everyone recognized how useful this could be for a certain someone. So stay tuned. It comes in three days, three days, and we'll share it with you and her surprise. So take care. We'll see you guys next time. Cause the best thing about it is I know I'm coming back. Oh, oh. Of all the magic places in the world, I've been to this is where my heart is, oh you know it's true